all right so in this video we are going to be solving a question on recursive sequences now the question is asking us to show that u of n is equal to 2 times 3 to the n plus negative 2 order to the n given the recursive nature given um u of n defined recursively by u of n plus 1 equal to u of n plus 6 u of n minus 1 where u0 is 3 and u1 is Four. Now, there are two methods. It is asking us to either use mathematical induction or we use an otherwise method. So, I know many of you can use mathematical induction to prove this, but I'm not going to use mathematical induction. I'm going to show you how to do it otherwise. Now, to do it otherwise, you are going to identify that recursive nature of the function as a second order dementia equation. So, we are going to rewrite it in this form u of n plus 1 we now subtract u of n and we subtract 6 times u of n minus 1 and we equate it to 0 now i'm, I'm I, I am identifying this as a second order differential equation because the difference between n plus 1 and n minus 1 is 2 so it is a second order differential equation so since it's a second order differential equation i'll begin with my homogeneous equation so my homogeneous equation is or the auxiliary equation is going to be now we can choose our parameter maybe t so it's t squared for n plus one then minus t for n that is u of n then minus six equal to zero so we can factor this quadratic equation into t minus two into t plus three no t minus three yes t minus three into t plus two yeah equal to zero so with that we get our two values of t so our t is equal to negative two and our t is equal to three now since you have that we can now write what the general solution because in this case we don't have any particular integral since it is it is um homogeneous so our general solution will be given by our u of n equal to a constant a times the first root which is 3 raised to the power n plus another constant b times the second root raised to the power n so that is our general solution but now we have been given initial conditions the first one is that u of 0 u of 0 is equal to 1 so u of 0 is equal to 3 u of 0 equal to 3 means that we, we now go to our general solution and we fit n equal to 0 for n equal to 0 this is going to boil down to 1 this is going to boil down to 1 so finally we have a plus b equal to 1 equal to 3 sorry so that's the first equation so we can call that equation 1 now the second initial condition says that u of 1 is equal to 4 now go back to your to your um, general solution and you fit one fitting one here for n here you have three and here you have negative two so it means that three a minus two b is equal to four we can call that equation two so all we need to do is to solve these two equations simultaneously if we solve these two equations simultaneously to get the values of a and b then we can see if our value of a is 2 and our value of b is 1 because this form respects the form of our general solution but all we need to do is to find the values of a and b all right so from the first equation so from equation 1 we have that our a is equal to 3 minus b we can call this equation 3 now fit equation 3 so we fit equation 3 in equation 2 it means that in the place of a we fit 3 minus b so i'm just going to copy this equation and then i replace the value of a so in the place of a we fit 3 minus b all right so from here we can expand expanding you're going to have 9 minus minus 3b then minus 2b equal to 4. So let's try to bring like terms together and simplify. So negative 3b minus 2b is negative 5b. 
so on the on the right hand side i'm going to take 9 so i'll have 4 minus 9 which is negative 5 so negative 5 b will be equal to negative 5 meaning that our b is equal to 1 all right now we need to find the value of a so since our a is equal to 3 minus b and our b is equal to 1 then our a will be equal to 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 so our general solution u of n since it was equal to this a times 3 to the to the n plus b times so we have that so our a is what our a is 2 and then our b is 1 we can just put it like that so we have proven that our u of n is equal to this so you see how you can apply the, your, your knowledge of differential equations to in, in sequences and series.